my friends welcome back we are playing as the mobswar my name is daily fix and we have returned so the reason i say that is because i skipped a portion of time i started to work on the fleets and that kind of takes a bit of time also there wasn't a real progression with this war until i saw a small hostile fleet now, I also decided that Vega was going to be another temporary shipyard. Eventually, I will change this back into an anchoring because I would like to get like four uh, shipyards and the rest is all going to be naval cap. Now, we don't have to pay attention to any of this. We are building up our fleets and we're very close at gaining some very powerful fleets indeed. Now before I want to go into this, um, I have a small announcement. I uh, actually, I went out of my way and what I did is, in this building, I actually moved some population of some of these um, planets to other planets. And what I want to say is... If we go to, and I need to find one of my tomb worlds. Uh, is this one of my tomb worlds? Desert world, arid world, tomb world. So, there used to be a lot more people. And you can actually see there is still a the ruined building over here. Uh, once this is repaired, we will destroy it. I moved all of the population out and I decided it would, have be, it would be best to have these on all of the other planets. So we can actually give our economy a small boost. Now I don't want to get rid of any planets. We will do more colonization and just go from there. Uh, also I moved all of the monthly away just to do that. I'm actually going to be turning those back. So that annoying announcement is gone. We do have to keep an eye on food. Because well... Um, yeah, we have used up a lot of them. A lot of species were eaten during our latest war. Let's all close this and let's take a look at the enemy fleet. So, heavy on shields. I like these auto ripper cannons actually. Like shields and, and hull. It's so nice having more of these. I kind of want to go with ripper cannons. What is that biggest difference between... Like, apart from the hull, okay? So, the damage is lower. The accuracy is higher. The cooldown is shorter. The tracking is a lot better. But the range... Yeah, actually, this is medium and small. This might not be the best ship to, uh, to try this with. Do we have some, uh, some others? Let's see. The range is 30, yeah, okay. Um, you, the lens. And the... Wow, the tracking is... Crap of these. Of course, it's a large weapon, of course, but still. Do we have Ripper Cannons ourselves? Let's take a look. Let's see. Yes, we do. Um, this way we can actually look... At it a bit more easily. So, 652... And 432. Although the tracking. The tracking is a lot better. These auto cannons would be quite good to take care of these smaller ships. So I'm, I'm going to ask you. I, I know there's not many of you watching. But uh, those who are. Um, hey why not uh, give me a heads up. Also I've decided to go with the type Mew. And get ourselves a proton launcher in there. Just get more of these regular cannons in here. Hopefully that's going to be enough. Also, I love just this strike craft. I really like them. Um, the Epsilon. Yeah, it's not my favorite, actually. Are we... Did we moo, uh, use them? Type Mu. Yes, we are. How about here? Also type Mu. And this actually is... It's still using the old one. Oh, you are in the midst of... Um, changing those designs which is cool yeah I, i'm not too worried about this even though they are very much focused on shields focused on shields and armor 
and we have most are uh, mostly armor actually mostly uh, armor and hull that's what i wanted to say um we could change all of this but do we need to i think we're a very balanced i usually go with balanced fleets anyways so yeah i think they will do fine so we can use a jump drive and i am going to get this fleet all the way in here because why not and uh, this one is changing you you are not doing anything right you can actually jump in here oh that's going to be gorgeous that's going to be fantastic when these guys get into my territory i will just jump them over there um but this does gets me thinking about there might be fleets heading this way and i'm thinking those fleets are a lot stronger considering the enemy they are equivalent both of them are equivalent so i would say they would be superior in combined force we have a lot to do we actually have a lot to do so we're going to keep a good eye on this fleet over here and if we see anything else is there a possibility of us um get a listening post in here i think that would be a good decision uh, we can actually see those fleets coming in so yeah you are going to be the one that is going to be dealing with this fleet uh, let us send you like over here the reason i want to send you over there is we can go in over here and over here this is a very nice position and i'm actually i, I was quite <laughs> um, how do you say that um, frustrated by the fact that i didn't take it back also what i've been doing is been i've been rooting out uh, these deviants on these planets and it will take me a long time i think this is how you get like rogue elements on a planet uh, like deviancy i hope we can um, remove these this way we'll have to find out uh, oh well by the looks of it the pops are ignorval are you ignorval let's take a look species wow Ik ignorval it's these guys so we should be able just to eat them these are deviant why are you you're uplifted yeah we'll eat you well we'll eat all deviancy and that is going to be the end of it uh, this forge world also i want to start upgrading some of my buildings and by upgrading i will also remove <clears throat> a building and the reason why i do this is because i will generate more work and i will need to take a look on what to do with this planet in the future so yeah that's basically the reason we do need to make sure that we don't get too low on these uh, gases. Wow, this changed drastically. This is no longer my territory. But 17k. This was 24, I believe. Uh, we'll do our best to upgrade this fleet. Also, we should be making a very healthy profit. So, I'm okay with it. Why did you, did you move back and forward? You just don't know where to go anymore. There is another fleet incoming. 16k. Okay, so that's not going to be enough. How far are you with upgrading? 72%. Will you go here? Let's take a look. We can look into this system, right? Yeah, what will you do, mate? What will you do? Actually, there is... Apparently, there are cruisers. But those cruisers just have two... Slots. Which is... Weird. Oh well, what can we do about it? Not that much. Uh, new technology uh, research is going up. Convol con uh, wow, Kvalopi. Yes. Colony development speed. Energy from jobs. I kind of want to go into 
more of these research options just to get them out of the way and they're quite annoying and we'll be waiting until he makes his move and i'm thinking he will make his move before the other fleet is present so till then we will just upgrade and improve our fleet i'm hoping that this guy is going to be finished just in the nick of time Still has a lot of things that we need to be doing about those. So 140, that will change as soon as some of these buildings get ready. Wow. <laughs> Damn. That's a big ass difference. 19. Wow. How did, did I do that? Damn. Um, I will change you. Let's replace you with a maintenance depot. That will help a lot. Also over here. What the hell is going on? Look, all of this enmities. Like the AI is um, has been using its own power. <sighs> oh well. Let's get more maintenance depots. Yeah, I will have to look at those planets myself for a bit. Are you going to be jumping? You are. Okay, you're quite locked in right now. So you... Go here in my own territory. And we'll make sure that this guy is fully upgraded. Hopefully by the time this guy gets into play. So fleets are present. Let's close this off. How far are you now? 80%. This is taking way too long. Although this is a very small station. Are you going to jump mate? Because uh, that station won't last. So these are still part of each other. Uh, do we want to upgrade you first? Yeah, why not? I want to have uh, more fleets at the um, the front lines. There you go. So he's in going in as well. Oh, uh, if you don't hurry it up, mate, I can't use you. What we can do is start transporting this guy nearby. And then go there. It will take him a bit longer with uh, regular travel. And I quite like this one. Stability on Earth is still horrible. Um, yo, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Uh, we lack houses. Can we transfer you into a hive district? I don't think so at the moment, no. Why not? Not sure. Uh, houses will change. There is a lot of deviancy. And we need to get those enmities up and running. I might remove some of these hive wardens and just replace them with maintenance depots. Uh, he got back? Are you kidding me? How bloody slow are you? Damn, these guys are slow. Holy. That is really crap. Okay, so where are you heading over to? So you're heading over there as well. Those, those two fleets. <sighs> That's annoying. <clears throat> they are way too slow. We need to do something about it. Oh, you are heading over here. Oh, you're going to be bypassing everything and just go to Gibran. It's actually not a bad idea. Did we finish the, um, the listening post? No, we didn't. So, we are going to be sending you slowly over there. Now, we can do another jump in 150 days. So till then, we will um, just take a look on what's going on. Uh, can we send my guys in here? No, we can. That's just horrible. <laughs> we will ever be the defender. Oh, man. Where are you? And you're also heading over there. So you're part of the other fleet. Now, what will you do? Okay, so we'll be waiting there. You. 
He is still moving over there. That's the 6k. This is the 16k. This is now 25. So we do out damage him. I kind of hope that it would be... Well, that we would out damage him more. 93% that we can jump into the system. Uh, psychonic potential, apparently, in the uh, Wasari Republic. We'll have to eat them to gain that technology. <laughs> so what will we do? I, I still want to wait for this. 95%. I will take this hit. Just to get him upgraded. And it's the final ship, actually. That's the, the problem. Are you jumping? Okay, you are. You, you are just doing what I think you're doing. You just wait over there. You. Can we jump? How long? 106 days. And it takes us 230 days to just get to this point. Yeah, that's not good. Also, let's take a look at this battleship. Wow. Wait, are we do are we using point defense? Do we have point defense? They're using flag. Their shields are quite good. Let's take a look at our designs. Oh, that's nice. I'm not using point defense. Damn. And get some point defense ships finally in here. And do we get flag or do we get the other one? Tracking 50, tracking 20. Yeah. You know the tracking is very important. The damage maybe not as much. Do we have other weapons that we want to use? 400% in the shield damage. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking on going to the, towards those other cannons. Uh, but for now we'll just focus on this one. You. Let's change you. And we are probably building you somewhere. Let's take a look. Yeah, we're building two of, of you. We're actually upgrading you. And building a cruiser. Oh man. This is what the design will be. Uh, till that point, we will just have to do whatever it is that we have. He will now get into the system. Yeah, he will be having a bit of a struggle, I think. Luckily, we we, uh, we don't have most of those destroyers. Where are we building destroyers? We're not building destroyers. Then why can I not? Is it due to the upgrade? These are all upgraded. It is probably just to that last 3%. So let's take a look into this battle. 16-7 versus 25-4. And even the AI felt this was not in my favor. Now it will be in my favor. But we will get, need to get our destroyer's point defense. And I'm thinking about getting more battleships. Just boosting the overall amount. Just getting less and less uh, corvettes they are quite nice corvettes um, but they are the ones that just soak up your first rounds of damage just heading your way we will win this but at what cost uh, by the looks of it it is quite expensive this fight you go here and research this oh damn can we jump not yet Oh, that ain't good. Are you at the beginning of your sector? Yes, you are. It's six, uh, 6k. This is 3k. I don't want to lose any systems. I'd rather be defending right now and make sure that they get more war exhaust than we do. But since we are upgrading and you're finally done. Yeah, we can actually do this. You two. You and you. I want you to... Stop moving. Can we merge? Why Why are you here? What is your problem? Who are you part of? This guy. You. Go here. Same class? 
No, 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 no. That's not what I want to do. Go there. You. And you. Merge. Go. Make it so. New research. Yeah, um, genetic resequencing. I'm not sure what it does, so I'm going to be figuring that one out with you. A naval cap we have more than enough from, but I want to get more into uh, genomes. So let's go to our species. Let's take a look. Can we do anything? Let's modify this template. Let's modify this template. What can we change here? Yes, there. Oh, wow. Food from livestock. Nerve stab. Resources from jobs. Cannot generate leaders. Oh, I don't like that. Um, at all, actually. Whoa. Population growth speed. Plus 30. And negative 10. And this is actually growth speed plus 10. Oh, yeah. We'll be rabbits. We will be rabbits. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, that's actually quite nice. Research output. Plus 20. Um, that is not bad either. It's the research output. Like, overall output. But I think we might need more. I keep changing all of my people this way. What we'll do is, as soon as we are... On top of this wall. We'll uh, just keep... What? Every time the fleets change. So drastically. I'm not sure I'm... Very much enjoying that. So what fleet will we be focused on? He's 170. There is actually a fleet that should be nearest. Right? Yeah, let's just do you. And we'll sell everything just to get more alloys. Now, all of the fleets are in range, and we could actually just jump over here. And we'll use a few fleets to start knocking them back all the way up here. This is a great position to hold the line. But, since they can use this guy, this Fallen Empire space, it's just annoying. So annoying. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll do some planetary work off camera, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.